Want to raise your vibration and feel open and free? In this video, I'm going to walk you through the top three things you can release to expand. I'm Brianna Borden and I help people awaken to their highest selves for support in creating your sacred life, reaching your potential and expanding your consciousness. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get alerted when I post a new video every Monday. One of my clients, Heather, came to me because she was feeling weighed down and heavy in her life. And even though things looked okay on the outside, she felt like she couldn't access levity or momentum. Does that sound familiar? Through the energy work we did together, we uncovered some major things that had to be let go in order to elevate her experience and her vibration in her life. It's what I see again and again with clients is that often we want to raise our vibration by increasing our Shakti or our life energy flowing through, but that only works to a point if we don't have a strong structure to hold the energy and a clear conduit for the flow to come through. So what are the three top things to release in order to raise your vibration? Number one is judgment. So often we have judgments of ourselves and others and situations and the way things are going, and it plays a big part of our inner world. And if we have this judgment that is running kind of incessantly behind the scenes, we really are contracted and constrained by that judgment. In judgment, just innately, there is the belief that there is right and wrong, and almost always that we're right and that someone else is wrong. And this judgment really takes a lot of energy for us to uphold. We, it takes energy for us to prove that we're right. It takes energy for us to feel like we want to show or control other people so that they will do it differently. This judgment can appear in a lot of different ways. So it can appear in a really insidious way that maybe we don't even notice. Maybe we're judging our own bodies. Maybe we are judging our own homes from the moment we wake up and we don't even necessarily notice that we're doing it. Or it could be a much bigger judgment that we have about say the way our parents parented us, or perhaps it's about the way our partner is conducting themselves in some way, or maybe it's a judgment about the world. But all of these holds that we have, all of these ways in which we believe that we know the right way or that there even is a right way really restricts us and makes it very hard for us to allow life to flow through us and allow that higher vibration to really come into play. So the first thing again was judgment. Number two is resistance to life. These are all the ways in which we say no to reality, all the ways in which we don't accept what is happening in life. This is literally just happening to me as I was making this video and my dog was barking and I realized, oh, I like tensed up and contracted myself because I was in resistance to the fact that my dog who always barks was barking. And so to start to realize that all these ways in which we don't say yes to life, we are resisting life. So whether it's your dog barking or perhaps the way you feel inside, or maybe it's a way that you see the world out there, all of these ways in which you resist that this is reality constrains you and contracts you and makes it so that that energy can't flow through. You can't raise your vibration unless you let go of that. And the more that you are a yes to life, the less you resist it, the more you can raise that energy and allow it to really flow through you with so much ease. So how do we have less resistance to life? Well, first we have to start to notice where we do have it. So becoming aware where we start to notice like, oh, I'm a no to that. Oh, I'm a no to that. And as we start to become aware of it, we can start to shift and change that for ourselves. And just, I always think it's the best to just hold it a little lightly. Like, isn't that silly? Isn't it funny how I resist life? Right? So I have a question for you that I would love for you to answer in the comments. What is it that you feel like you are resisting in life right now? 
Just answer in the comments. And the reason I'm asking you to do this is because of that simple fact that noticing, becoming aware is the very first step in shifting it so that you can open up and have a higher vibration and a higher vibration life. Number three is grudges. So how often do we say that maybe we forgive somebody or we've forgotten about something, but really kind of underneath it, we're noticing, we're still looking through that lens of what they did in the past and holding that grudge. And we also hold grudges against ourselves. This is something that we do, especially if we don't keep our agreements with ourselves, if we find ourselves acting out of accordance with our morals or values, then later we'll hold a grudge against ourselves for that. And the only solution is forgiveness. Forgiveness is this amazing bomb that frees up. It's like the keys that are given to the prisoner and the guard. Everyone gets to be free. There's no need to hold in confinement or under your scrutiny anyone, including yourself. So really releasing those grudges so that you can free up that energy so that you can have more of that open and free feeling that you're looking for. If you want to do more of the energetic work to come into wholeness and feel real peace, I encourage you to check out the ceremony I made for you below, Reclaim your power. If you liked this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. I so appreciate you being here and I so appreciate you sharing with other people.